Hello, Hello you raucous racers. My, My name is Tristan. Welcome to Battlebots. I may have spent close to $100 on this. I bought four different RC cars. Whoa! 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 Whoa. 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 I didn't toss my high It's enough. like Christmas. It's okay, I'll fix it in post. <laughs> All right, so these are them. They're not the best in the world, but they will be when we're done with them. Isn't that right, boys? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Wrong, actually. Fuck. Only one will be the best. Fuck! Are you not fucking listening? <laughs> oh, bitch! <laughs> Going you on. fucking born arm first? <laughs> Good God! I think my car's a bit. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> so BattleBots, um, the rules are not many, actually. You can pretty much do whatever you want, as long as- <laughs> You just said I could do whatever I want, dude. Yeah, exactly. Well, don't- don't test it, quite. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that here so it's censored. You can do pretty much anything you want with the car. I don't want to give anybody ideas. Fucking fire, explosives, guns. Just make your car into a weapon of mass destruction. Last car standing wins and becomes the king! of carnage. I wanna make a bomb. And you will get a very special prize. I spare no expense. You guys have this many days! That is like a long time, but there's a lot of work to be done. So without further ado, I one, <laughs> two, three, four, three! <laughs> Hi, it's later, much later. You wanna play a guessing game? Guess which one of us was a fucking idiot and lost three quarters of their footage, including the fight itself. I'm mad too. So I'm gonna recreate my research phase as best I can. Hopefully it flows, if it doesn't. So it was supposed to be about half an hour of research looking into the overview of BattleBots via the wiki became an eight hour long marathon of every BattleBots fight ever. <laughs> now considering we're not going for points in this particular fight, we're going for complete and total destruction of our opponents, there are really only three weapons that come to mind as far as effectiveness goes. There are spinners, rotating hammers, and flippers. And while buzzsaws, hammers, clutches, and fire are all options you see in BattleBots, they don't win that much. Is that a fruit fly? I will fucking give you AIDS. And I feel similarly about Bite Force the way I do about the New England Patriots. Stop winning, it's boring. And while being fast and evasive is one thing, driver error is not gonna get you any sympathy in this race. And if you've seen this channel before, you know that I'm not particularly great at... Things. You also gotta consider that BattleBots can be 500 pounds. Our robots are pushing 500 grams. If you want to be fast, you have to be naked. And also general rules of thumb, endurance beats sprinting, power beats speed, gravity beats everything, fire beats me, and many bots beat nothing. Nothing. So taking all of that into account, as I'm sure my opponents definitely did in their infinite wisdom, I'm thinking a heavier bot that you can't get underneath with any one weapon. I began developing a plan to get sketching underway. So the initial idea I had for my car, instead of just putting like a bunch of spikes, flamethrower or something like that, is to just be able to like flip the car around, have terrain do all the damage. So I decided to put a big ass plow on the top of my car. For a little bit of extra durability, I wanted to put something kind of like a spike go across, do damage that way, or at least keep my car standing. So went to a friend's, three printed the plow. Wanted it to be fairly thick and pretty wide, which I think I achieved on it. I got a feeling it's gonna be more stable than it looks. I don't know how 3D filament works, though. I figured it's pretty straightforward. You're getting plowed. Hey, what's up? Uh, this is Carter. I'm gonna send you some updates over this car because I haven't started since Thanksgiving. Um, I don't really have a lot of bright ideas. What I'm gonna do, those are some fireworks. I don't know how I'm gonna attach these, but <laughs> shit. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna win this. I really I really don't. Um, even if I don't win, I'm gonna go out with a bang. So sketching. Work smarter, not harder. I took a photo of my battle bot and then began to sketch out the contours within Photoshop. I then mass copied that and then used those to iterate. Some of my ideas were fucking crazy. The idea I settled upon is a sort of textbook gold bar-like shape with a big spinning propeller blade on top of it. The idea was the ramps would guide my opponents up into the blade where they'd be off center, unstable, and eventually knocked on their asses. However, I am very proud of all my sketches and all my notes and I'm gonna hide them very close to my chest. Guess what I found? In real battle bots, the weapons that work the best are usually the spinners. You take previous season winners like Tombstone or Fight Force. Tombstone's a horizontal spinner, Fight Force is a vertical spinner. You've done your research. It's always the spinners. What else even is there? There's like hydraulic flippers, which I'm not gonna be able to make. <clears throat> what I was thinking was uh, all I need to do is make a counter to the spinner. I'll pop it free. Just give it, just give it the snip. the shit off my vehicle. Oh yeah, I should take out the steering wheel because I am the wheel. Did you draw it? I didn't, like, uh, it's very loose. Did All you right, take right, this part off? I don't think I can. Careful with the snap, your finger's in the way. 
Oh yeah, that was close. A little raucous, a little rowdy. Uh, Maybe just peel it back, honestly. Oh, yeah. Sick. That was pretty easy. <laughs> By the way, in our city, fireworks are technically 100% legal. If we get in trouble, yeah, that's gonna be fine. For no particular reason which the law need concern itself with. That first, say hi. <laughs> Yay! And this is gonna be some really easy editing, so I uh, hope you're happy. Can't see my face. Anyway, car. It's naughty dog time, man. Oh, I just ripped a hole. <laughs> oh no! Wow, that's not. <laughs> All right, naughty dog. Uh, gotta say, zero out of ten. It's whatever, dude. I just started this. This wasn't how it was supposed to be planned. Fuck. Give me, give me a second. So prototyping wasn't going great. I, like most of the rest, <laughs> cut the roof off of my car. Woo! I took apart an old wooden model for its parts, used some leftover copper filaments to make a makeshift blade, and then started running the thing into stuff. I gotta figure out a better trigger mechanism at some point. <laughs> when this is an actual blade, it's gonna hurt to get your hand caught in that some bitch. Yeah! It doesn't seem that much faster now? Maybe a little faster. But I'm going for being a brute, not a speedster. I couldn't tell if that worked. <laughs> it can barely knock over chocolate, and the goal in the long term is to make one that will knock chocolate out of my friend's assholes. Huh. <laughs> I mean, it did circles. Ah, fuck out, stop. So I went online and bought a 9 volt DC motor. This thing's got some serious chutzpah to it. I spent a lot of fucking money on it, and then things went bad. So things have taken a turn for the stupid. Race day got moved up, package got pushed back. So now the shiny motor I spent 40 bucks on isn't coming until after this robot's going to be in 100 fucking pieces. Ah, <sighs> fuck. So at this juncture, I had no time to practice, and I was using the motor from a humidifier that fits in your pocket. Things were looking pretty grim. The rest of the car came up next best thing, part of a uh, wooden plane. Everyone has those. Someone's gonna try to hit me from behind, just gonna get stuck on this and break it, because these are actually fairly durable. Green decals all around. I feel like going simple but slick, but I think I got a pretty dang good chance of winning this. We're just gonna have to test it out and make sure it works. What I was gonna do, just coat the thing with ribbons and string. It's something to get other people's weapons caught. So it's like, instead of trying to be the top dog, I'm bringing everyone else down to bottom dog level. You get me? Some sabotage. Yeah, that would put my driving skills to the test above all else. Yes, this is like pretty much exactly what I was envisioning. This horrific mass of dehydrated noodles will do. Is it socially acceptable for me to like nod off? Um, do you want scissors? Is it socially acceptable <laughs> for me to <laughs> gnaw with my teeth? All right, where's the end? Did I hand them back to you? What are they, what are we, what did you do with it? Oh my gosh, <laughs> did I just lose those? What happened? What did you do? Lovely. Might want to make this a box and then like have shit coming out. And it is very stable. This is definitely gonna stay on. <laughs> the next step is to poke some holios in it. Somehow I'm gonna insert this. The exact placements don't matter, just stick it. It was built on uh, chaos and disorder. We're gonna tape this up so it doesn't get stuck in my wheels. The back is kind of naked. That's okay. Once these connections are severed, this shit will just go everywhere. So you wanted to make a mess? Yeah, we're gonna get messy. Oh hey, you caught me at a terrible fucking time. It is T minus one day until launch, which is T minus way less than I would have found to be ideal. Because it can't be that important, right? Express shipping isn't that important, right? You know what? I'll say it. I don't like this Jeff Bezos guy that much. So my itinerary for the day became at least get the wedges done. I made them too short, however, and so I had to add some spacers to give it some height. Which leads us to now. I'm taking apart an old fan for a motor because the current one is fucking stupid. This idea only just now came to me though. That sounds pretty fast. Will this one be better? I don't know. It's held together by scored plastic and super glue. Get him, boy. <laughs> The cool thing about using a ruler for this test is that you can tell where the middle is pretty simply. All right, let's see if this thing has any go fast in it. Oh dear. <laughs> and that's at the lowest speed. Hmm. <laughs> okay, as funny as that is, I think it's overkill. It's also not fast. Ruler it is. Ow, fuck. Ow. <laughs> this thing is capable of harm. Oh dear. So it's like umbrelling for it. You don't need much. That's good enough. Some of it got on your <laughs> That's why the tape is there. It actually looks really cool. Yeah, it's like thorns. You think this is enough? I think that's enough. You yeah, think, maybe. Do you think this is enough? Let me choose. A little bit more? Are you sure? Yeah, too much. Are we sure? Okay. <laughs> There we go. You've just added two kilos to your bot. <laughs> right. I can't pick it up. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Ooh, dude, feathers, that reduces okay. weight. Those are big pops. Those are meaty. Don't need the dog's <laughs> <laughs> They're googly eyes. 
That sounds horrifying. We should have found you macaroni noodles so you could have made a macaroni art car <laughs> full on third grade mode. There should be goggles in here, right? Nope. They removed them. It'll be fine. Nice. 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 You know, we got smelly. <laughs> All right, this one's a lot better. This one's intact. Let's try that again. Shit. Oh, this doesn't fit. Oh, wait, wait a minute. All right, there we go. Perfect. Demolition, man. It's not like we're trying to kill everybody, but um, hey, I could put it on here. Honestly, I have some super, you know? Yeah, hey. Dude, we got this, this is fine. You know, I really fucked a lot of things up, but I didn't realize how hard this was gonna be. Can I just put this right here? There we go. I don't even have to glue that one. As you've seen the flaw already, there's no fire with it yet. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I think this is pretty cool. So guys, this is my car. If I get in trouble because of this, I blame Aiden. If anybody brings fire to the table, my car will literally fly. Okay, so practice. I've already been doing a lot of practice on my own, pretty much. This is how it's gonna look. Get a plow them real good. But let's make sure that the plow actually works. So I think for this a pair of shoes should be a good demonstration. So let's see if it works. Ah. May not be perfect. But at the very least, I don't have to worry too much about me getting flipped over, I don't think. So, I'll say that's a successful car right there. Pretty fucked. Okay, I know I said I'd use pink, but I dare you to tell me that this is cooler than this. Oh man, that is <laughs> This requires two hands to do, doesn't it? Uh, acceleration is not amazing. Speed! Oh dear. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Guys, you wanna watch my robot beat up an apple? Yes. Test one of uh, Spinny Blade of Death. Junk out of it. Whoa. <laughs> Literally just cut it straight in half. I guess I'll just hope that was good enough. This is a shitty apple. All right, well, I'm out of time to do anything else to my bot, so hopefully it kicks ass. This is at least big enough. Yep. Nope. <laughs> nice. You kind of just gotta push it in. Hmm. I think that pom-pom is the problem. Either duct tape or super glue, or a combination of both will work wonders, I imagine. The goal is just to make it slimmer. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. Well, if that's the case, I'll just do double on one side. Yeah. Uh, use a clamp for this. Perfect. Wonderful. That's very nice. I don't think tape's gonna do it, man. Tape is definitely gonna do it. Yeah, I think you're done. That's not what I want. This is the blue I'm looking for. <sighs> Those are hard to get open. Never mind. What the fuck? <laughs> what? The oh god, you're blinding your eyes. There's a bit more in there. Okay, this is good. Yeah? Okay, cool. Thank you, you paint lathered. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's been however many days we said it was gonna be. How's that sandwich? It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm hungry, god damn. Wait, are we gonna open it? Whose car is this? <laughs> so this is the part where we show each other what we've made. Why'd you, you make a towel? Your mouth closed, and I didn't make a towel. Good. I made... Speed! <laughs> what the fuck is that? Hell yeah. <laughs> He's got three speed settings. Uno almost broke my finger. There's Dose. <laughs> Dose is gonna take my eyes. And then there's Trace. He's shaking the actual tape. Where's the button? I can't find it. I'm not gonna stop that with my hand. Don't! No. <laughs> That's my submission. Cover your eyeballs. All right, the towel is on. Are we ready? Three, two, 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 two one. one. Oh, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's pretty what? Cool. what the fuck is this? What's its name? This is Thicket. Ah! One thing it can do, I can drive it. There's, <laughs> it's all on me to make this thing work. <laughs> well, as I understand it, you got a rampy boy. Oh, that's under. in the front. This is the front of the car. <laughs> I'm gonna flip your asses, and if you try to hit me, you're gonna get stuck in this shit. Maybe I'll get stuck in it too, but it'll be both of our problems. All right, Thicket! Yeah! Guys, don't look. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's kind of big. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> it looks like a dick. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, suicide bomber. Oh, it has a mast. I like that. Yeah. The car is called Amen. Um, Amen? Amen. Like, way back in the mine. Oh yeah, yeah, almond. <laughs> okay, good. Cool. It explodes. That's that's it. All right. <laughs> Cover up, boys. Ooh, just like your uh, life. Very is. boxy. This is uh, Splow. Splow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it's Splow. Oh, oh sorry. shit. <laughs> <laughs> All these losers get get plowed. Soon. Okay. Uh, spike on the side. So of you course. Can't put my ass. Yeah, that might actually work. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty simple. Get fucked. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> you actually used the marker to color yeah, I did. green. <laughs> I couldn't find any paint. Yeah, I feel like this will definitely stop a forest fire. Okay, we are now heading to the battlefield. Okay, so this is the BattleBots fucking finale. It's all for this King of Carnage crown. I spared no expense, as I didn't spare a single cent on it. All right, boys, fight on go. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm terrified. <laughs> Get over here. Get over here. Uh, I'm not very fast. <laughs> I'm spinning. <laughs> the wind is pushing my vehicle. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> Get you, baby. <laughs> Get you, baby. You're all too fat for me to oh, fuck. Crap, I'm crazy. so slow. <laughs> Carter, light yourself. I can't. Should we call an intermission so Carter can light himself? Come on. Come on. God, Windy Carter. Outside. Yeah. Light it. Okay, go oh, girl! Shit. Not in me! Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! 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 Oh,
You should put all your eggs in one basket. I learned that the hard way. I, um, I lost. But, you know, I did put on a light show, so that's pretty yeah. cool. Anyway, that's it. As the runner-up, zero kills, and very eventful. I would like to thank everyone involved. And I would like to also apologize to everyone involved for single-handedly delaying this thing as much as I did. This was super badass, and I hope you had fun. I love like how the bottom fight. camera is just smoking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope you had fun uh, smashing, crashing, bashing, and thrashing with us, because we had fun smashing, bashing, crashing, and thrashing with you. Bye! Bye!